Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. We are live. Just let me see if I can find myself. That would be helpful. Um, I think we are live, but you never know, right? That one there. That one there. There we go. Yes, good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good to see you all. Um, welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs. My name is David, and tonight I am doing the live. Good evening. Well, hello again, Patricia. Hi, Wilma. Um, happy Friday, indeed. Yes, like, share, and comment to win the gift certificate. That's always nice to, to win, right? If you win that, that would be fantastic. Um, so, hi Saskia, hi Hans. Um, yes, we have... Uh, um, I'm looking for something. Um, yes, okay, I've got what I wanted to say. Hello, 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 hi Sylvia. Hi Els, two in a row. Yes, that's correct. I was just live at Duoding, had fun there. And now we're gonna have fun at Elizabeth Craft Designs. I'm happy to be here. I'm just gonna close this, then it will give me more comments. Yeah, that was my twin brother. Uh, I'm beardless, just in case anyone uh, notices. Um, yeah, it was itchy. No, it had to go. So um, that's uh, good. And like, comment and share. Cindy, go and finish your December day by day. Um, hi, Elke. Hi, everybody. Well, um, welcome. And we're going to have fun tonight. I'm going to play with a lot of stuff. I will show you in a second. But first, um, Monday. Yoset will be doing the live, and that will be fun again. Uh, so yeah, give uh, give a thumbs up for Yoset that she's doing the lives now because uh, that's really great. Um, she will probably go live um, uh, with her latest collection, which is fantastic. I will be playing with that tonight as well. Um, so that will be Monday. Um, Wednesday is going to be Els, and Friday is going to be Marga. Uh, yeah, that's what else said. So Monday is your set, Wednesday is else, and Friday is Marga. But please pay attention that in the Netherlands we go to winter time. The clock changes uh, this weekend, and in the U.S. that's next week. So that means that the live will not for the Dutchies will not be at eight o'clock, but will be at seven o'clock, uh, and that's just one week that it uh, uh, goes. So um, yeah. Um, just keep that in mind. So, dus voor de Nederlanders, de lives volgende week starten om 7 uur en niet om 8 uur. Uh, because the US changes times later. That was that. I said it correct, right else? If not, correct me. Um, yeah. The, but Belinda, for you it's the same time. It's 12 mountain time. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, it'll be 6 for you in the UK. That's correct, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's switch. I have to get back into the swing with my English. I just did a, a live in Dutch. So sorry if I mess up. Um, let's switch camera. Then at least you can see what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to be playing with this one. Well, not re really be playing because I've already made it. Because otherwise this live would have taken forever. Uh, let me see. It's somewhere here. I've got a lot of stuff. Yeah, here it is. So this is my version of the stove. Um, so, yeah, the UK is one hour later than in the Netherlands, so it's six o'clock in the, in the UK. Um, I just made this. Uh, I've used uh, uh, inks to color it, and then I used uh, glossy accents to make this glossy. I like that glossy finish. So, yeah, that's uh, the one. Um, in the US, nothing changes, right? In the US, everything stays the same. Uh, it's just in Europe, the clock changes one week before in the US. Okay, that's, uh, so that's that set. Love it, love it, love it. That's going to be on the cover of my booklet because I'm going to make a booklet using the file folder set one and file folder set two. And I'm going to be using this, these elements from the uh, journal Your Holiday. Uh, that was the July release um, from the Art Journal specials. And that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to make a booklet out of that. Uh, so let's see what I've got. 
I'll keep this one here so I can reference to that. My mouse I don't need. This can go to the side. So what I've got here is a lot of um, things that's this one. And you use that to attach the pages together. And when I was preparing, I was thinking about making a booklet. And first I wanted to do it the way I did it uh, with Marga at the... I'm missing a lot of comments, sorry. Yes, I used copper for the stove. Copper paste from Sizzix. Um, so, sorry, I'm coming back to this. We did at the retreat make a booklet, and but we glued the pages together. There was also a, a time choice because we did not have time to use this. But I was thinking about it. It should be able to work. And look at that. This is a perfect fit to make a booklet with the file folders. So I was like, oh yeah, bring it on. That's what we're going to do. Um, so first things first, because ah, you know me by now, I'm messy. I like to be messy. Sorry, I have to go to the... Um, while I still have the book unassembled, um, and this is going to be my first page, I just thought I would put on some paste already so it can dry. Um, because that will be my first uh, thing in here. And I'm going to use, this is new for me. Uh, it's from, I don't know, it's from Finna Bear. Uh, and it's paper texture paste. Let's find out together how that looks and how that responds to watercolor, etc. So I'm just, okay, it's fluffy, it's interesting. And I'm just going to put this on. I've got a piece of release sheet underneath. Oh, this is fun stuff. It's completely different than the Distress uh, texture paste. There we go. That looks cool. And I'll do the same here at the bottom. Just like that. This is like buttering. Your toast. I think that's the best way I can explain it. There we go. Put that in there, close it up before it dries out. Yes, it's my uh, mijn hofleverancier. Eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I bought it at Duoding. It's where I buy everything, fairly. So, or from Elizabeth Craft Designs or at Duoding. The majority for me. Um, but yeah, there are other shops as well that that will sell this. I'm pretty sure of that. So this needs to dry. So I'm going to put that to the side. Just let me clean this up real quick. Um, and there are many, many, many different kind of pastes out there. Uh, and I was just curious. I saw this and apparently this dries like paper. It says opaque paste with matte finish similar to handcrafted paper. We'll see. So then I will get my, I've, got, I've cut a lot of file folders because there's going to be a lot of pages in this book. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue on these things. And I'm just going to see which one I think matches. Yeah, that's fine. That's, and I'm going to use glue for that. Nice to see you too. Welcome everybody that came in late. Don't forget to like, share and comment to be able to win the $50 gift certificate. Um, and um, about the lives next week, um, for the people in the Netherlands, make sure you tune in on time because winter time is starting this weekend, tomorrow. Um, but um, in the US it doesn't start yet, so we start at 7 with the lives. Um, and then... So it's like that. Then I will put some glue on this side. 
just make sure that the edges are glued down. Line that up. And press it down. And then we have our first page is done. Isn't that cool? I think that is fantastic. So I'm going to build up my booklet like this. Just have to pay attention to do it in the right order. Um, seems like I've made a little mistake somewhere down the line, but I don't mind. I don't mind this one. So uh, I want that at the top. So it's going to be like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm there. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to glue this on. So that's fairly what we're doing. And I, I will get a wiggle on and speed up uh, because that will take some time. But it is really fun how it comes together. Um, I know, right? It was really hot today. It was a record-breaking temperature and then we're going to winter time. Yes, that's what I was figuring out now, Sylvia, how to alternate the taps um, so that it makes sense. So it could be, um, yeah, on here. No. Ah, I did mess that up now. I'm confused now. Yeah, this is at the wrong. Well, just glue another one down here. Sorry, um, that's what you get from reading comments and trying to do something at the same time. I'm a guy, that's my excuse. Yeah, it's a special from the Art Journal collection. Um, a fun collection that was uh, released in July. And you can make your own booklet. There's a whole die set here. It's this set actually. It's here in frame. It's 1961. For these pages. Yeah, that's a good excuse, right? Thank you. I think that's Anya who put the link in. Okay. Now we should be good to go. Yep. This one goes there. Uh, just be careful to line it up correctly. Like that. And then we go back to the middle one. So let's get a middle one. Yep. Let's do this one. Glue up again. You're welcome. That's that. And this is how I build up the page. Now I need to get rid of this. I forgot to clean my stencil and now I'm messing it up in here. So I will just quickly clean that. Because otherwise I can throw that stencil away. Now this is also one of the Art Journal special stencils. Well loved as you can see, I've used it quite a lot because I like the structure, it's fun. I'm not sure what this one is called though. And I forgot to look it up. But I'm pretty sure if we still have it available that it will... Uh... So... That is saved. Okay. So... Um, I'm working backwards. That's where my brain goes. Uh, cook, cook. But never mind. It's this one goes there. Okay, let's glue this one on. Just like so. Now this is really fun. 
this is the boring part guys and after this the fun starts well i think i think this is fun as well but i can imagine that this is quite boring to watch but yeah it's part of the part of what it's supposed to to do um, and at least now you know if i make a mistake not to make the same mistake right and uh, no i sorry glenda i don't hi joseph Thank you, file folder set one and two I'm using. But the great thing about this is that the way this goes, you can continuously have flat pages. And this is really fun if you want to work in your pages. Um, so that's why this is a fun way of assembling your um, book. Uh, Okay, next I am taking a middle tab, methinks, what did I do, let me see, bottom, middle, top, uh, I forgot the bottom is somewhere in between, you know what, I'm just going to continue, I, it's not important at all. You know, in the end of the day, nobody will say, oh, that tap is in the wrong place. And if they do, well, tough. Yes, that is going to be fun else. I said yesterday, next week was going to be fun. Yeah, it is. The book five is absolutely stunning. You will see it next week. Um, yeah. Reinforcements are fun as well. Yeah, you will love it. You will love it. Okay. Now, I will not uh, bore you all to death with continue doing this forever, but I do want some bulk to my book yeah be ready for next week uh, for the book five in europe and uh, for some other fun 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 bits yeah you probably saw the reinforcements in the book right Uh, yep, front one. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. You see, this is really c coming together nicely. So, I'm going to put this one here. Yeah. Then I'm going to put this one down here. Lining it up, making sure it's in the right spot and pressing it down. It was on uh, Create and Craft with else. This one goes here. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. At least from what I was thinking to do. This one. No. Oh, 
well. Let's do this. No, that's wrong, David. How, how, it was folded the right way. There we go. Sorry, it's weekend. My brain is in... Uh, these are papers from, it's a mixture from uh, art journal papers. It's uh, from uh, Reminiscence, book two, three, four, whatever. <laughs> One of the books, all of the books, I think. Just took pieces of paper that, uh, uh, and I mixed it around. Fairly, that's what I did. Uh, okay, and this last one is going to go here in the back. I don't want to waste it. I don't know, but I think Belinda just said you can, so... And there is the last one. Well, this went quicker than I imagined it would go. So, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Okay, that is that. And then I still made a mistake because this one had to go at the bottom, but never mind. And I had some glue oozing out here. What happened here? I'll cover this up with something fun. That was my... It's the inside. I don't really understand where that glue came from, but anyways. You see, it folds open really easy. Now... I can't help you with that because this was given to me, because I cannot work with these little tiny pearls. The cards are from the file folder set from Esther. It's the file folder set one and two. These two I've used for that. And then the binding system comes from the Art Journal Specials 1961. So that is step one. Then I should have, there it is. A cover made and I'm not sure it's thick enough no it's not so then let me show you that was I, I watched a live from Rihanna a long time ago when this was released um, this is two centimeters and this is three centimeters so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my trimmer and line this up here How am I going to... How did you do that, Rihanna? Help. It was a cool idea, anyways. So, oh, that's how I can do it. This is six centimeters, if I'm correct. Let me double check. Yeah. So, I will trim this at five centimeters. Then it should be fine. There we go. No, I know that. I know that. That was my next sentence. Don't. <laughs> um, then I'm going to um, put some glue on this piece here. And glue that on here. And that makes the spine a bit smaller. And then as Belinda just mentioned, it's important that when you glue this onto your book, um, that you do not glue this down. That should be open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on here, making sure there's enough on there, and, but also make sure I don't go too far here because I don't want any glue on the back. Because that will make sure my booklet will open and close. Um, don't do the front yet. 
uh, will open and close flat. So uh, I'm going to get my booklet, line it up like so, make sure it's straight and centered. And then this is going to be on the front. Um, but of course, I cannot do that yet because there's one more page to go in. And there's a room of room for that, so that's good. And then this will stay loose. Because that's loose, it'll open up like that. So now I had to be patient. Had to, I was impatient. This needed some time to dry. So press that back on. Line it up correctly. There we go. Yep. Okay. Now this. Is this dry? No, by all means it's not. So I'm going to dry that. It's perfect how it lays flat. That's a really great design. But I need this to be dry to be able to continue. It looks fun, this. Uh Yeah, then it can really lay flat. If you glue it down, it'll be stuck. It's getting there. That's dry enough, so let me get my release sheet out again. And I'm going to have some fun with watercolors. So I'm going to uh, let me see, get a brush out. And I'm using my, uh, my big brush for this. Um, and then I'm going to use, what color shall I use? I'm going to use this one. This is a really dark blue. And I'm just going to tap that over that paste. Uh, that's my drinking water, David. Don't do that. <laughs> Who has done that? Dip their brush in the glass of water that you were supposed to drink? I like this structure. It's different again than the other paste. That's cool. And this is fantastic color. But this whole watercolor palette is fantastic. It's, uh, it's got so much pigment in. Um, yeah, I love that. Now I'm just thinning it out washing it out a bit but it's not have it doesn't have to be perfect at all so just have to be careful because I don't want too much to happen to the front so I gotta clean up in between oh yeah that could happen to me as well spilling it over your project I also managed to, when I was still doing painting, put the paintbrush in my mouth, but the wrong way. I wanted to do it like this, and then I had the paint side. Oh. Um, next, I'm taking the blue color that's next to it, and I'm just gonna 
put that on, blending it in with a darker blue. These colors are fantastic. Oh yeah, I, I, but that would happen to me if I would like have a December day by day finished and then I would spill the... spill my glass of water over it. There we go. They are beautiful, absolutely. Um, what other color do I want? Eh, let's try a bit of this reddish blue, uh, blue, brown. It's not blue, David, that's brown. Just color the rest of that. Just dabbing off the edge here. I like that. There we go. Done. Clean my brush. The blues are really, the, all the colors are fantastic that are in this palette. Yeah, I really, really enjoy this. I struggled in the beginning because I didn't know how to use them, uh, but now I know it's, it's, yeah. Well, that went okay. So I'm going to dry this, then I'm going to finish the cover of my book and then we'll continue with the inside. But uh, I just wanted to have this part ready. No, actually this is uh, a 300 grams um, um, watercolor paper. Now I want to do one more thing, and that's this. I've got this Dilutions Shimmer Spray, and I like my shimmer, I can't help it. So what I'm doing is shaking the Bazinga out of that. Hey Esther. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some on there. Give it some darker splotches and some sparkle because there's some nice sparkle in here. And this paste dried really fun, guys. I'll, I'll do a close up. Okay, that's enough. Enough is enough, right? You see that? The shine, but the, the structure in this paste, love it. It's yummy. Okay, and it absorbs color, which is also nice. Well, I am just new to watercoloring. I'm, I just whack the color on fairly. That's what I do. Um, just drying this now. Then I'm going to fold it in half. And then what I'm doing is I'm gonna take a stencil and I'm not sure which one yet. So let's figure that out together. I've got my stack of stencils here. Um, and I think, this could be no, 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 no. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the same pattern as I've got here. And then I'm going to take frayed burlap. Where's my frayed burlap gone? 
Here it is, under my phone. Makes sense, right? Good that you liked, commented, and shared. It's from Finnebear. It's this one. Paper texture paste. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting it here over the tap. I'm going to give that some color and then fade out towards the inside and do the same here at the bottom. This is going to be the cover of my uh, booklet. Let me get over that blue patch there. Because why not? I can do it, right? And here the same. Okay, that's that. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm, uh, I'm going to edge this as well. So I haven't etched everything yet because I just wanted to um, yeah, decide on the spot whether I want to or not. Um, now that's interesting, I forgot one of these, so let me see if I still have a scrap of paper here. Mm. Christmas loose here paper is laying right beside me here. I will just quickly trim out one uh, uh, thing from the paper and then I'll finish the cover. Bear with me. So, got my plates here. Got my cutting plate. There we go. I've got one of these strips. Just need one more. So, don't throw your die on the floor, David, because you will lose it. Okay, that's that. I like this side. So, fold that. There's a score line in the middle. So, you fold that. And then I take my glue. Put that on here. I've given up on the tap, Sylvia. But I think it is. Because uh, I know we've got two at the top, but uh, I want the first one to be at the top. And somewhere down the line, I'm, I'm messed up. But that's not that important. So this one is going to be here, like that, and put some glue on this one again. And then I will put this one on here, like so. Then I will put some glue on here. Make sure nothing goes beyond that line, the fold line, because you don't want to glue down the spine and close it up. So, like that. Now, I think your son is fine with being up late, Judith. Now, how cool is this? Look at that. We've got a cool booklet. Now I've got my first page nearly done. So there's going to be loads of fun in here. Um, pretty sure of that. Now this one there. That's what you get from doing it too quick. But do as I say, don't do as I do, right? That's what they say here as well. But I will fix that. It's an art journal, so there. So that's how it goes with the booklet. Now, back to my stove, which is here. This will just go on the front. And the original idea, what I had, and that's probably what I will be doing anyway, um, 
is to give this booklet he doesn't know <laughs> to Daniel um, because he loves baking. That's why I initially put the stove on, um, but then uh, I got this idea for the inside, and I thought, oh no, I want to make an uh, an art journal out of it. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I intended this to be his recipe book for his cakes. But it still can be my art journal. I don't care. I don't mind it having a stove on the front, right? Yeah, but he might not get it, Belinda. <laughs> because I love it too much. Because in here, I've got some other ideas now. Uh, and this is why you don't glue the spine down, because you can still open it flat like this. Brilliant, right? So, um, I've got some bits and bobs here that I want to um, put in there. Now, I've got this uh, piece. This is from another art journal set. Where did I put that one? Right here. This is from the Solstice Pocket 195 Four nine, um, and what it does, it trims out. There's a plate in there. Let me show you. Hmm. Where did that go? It's similar to this one. Oh well, never mind. Uh, you can see what it did. It, it prints uh, out from the paper, so it's it's. Um, and I will just put some glue dots here on the pieces that I want on there. And then what I'll do is I'll just put this here. I've got just some post-it tape uh, behind this. I'll press this down. Then I'll take off the post-it tape. Press down the pieces that want to come with it. But there's glue behind it, so that should stick eventually. I don't want these little dots, so they can come with me. There we go. Oh, thank you, ladies. Yeah, I've got an excuse to make another one, right? Now, the idea was that I have a template. Look, then I've got that flower. There. Cool, right? And then I had this other idea, but I just need to be careful not to make it too wet. With this dark blue, I'm just going to use this as a stencil and tap the color on through there. I have piece ready for if I make it too wet. And then just fill that in again. And then lift this up, and that will give sort of a stenciled effect. I'll put another one right here. I'm just dapping on my, my brush, not with a lot of water in there. I just want this to give color to the page. like that. So now we've got three flowers just in different colors. Then I've got, I thought I had, yeah, two of the leaves that came from the same set as these flower, as this flower. And I'm going to put that on this page here. So I'm just going to 
put some glue behind that. Just like so. And I'm going to put that right here. And then I want this one to come from here. Sort of making a, how do you call that? A turn, like a U-turn. Good, well that's what inspiration is all about. <laughs> yeah, Femke, that's, I mean, there's, it's always good to have options and, and there might be a time when you say, hey, now I've got that booklet from that crazy guy with using the tap folders. There we go. So I'm going to leave it at this because then I still have time to put a photo there or I might put a picture in here of Daniel baking there and then he can use all the other pages to, uh, to put in his recipes. Just fun, because I do think this is fun for him to uh, have for his recipes. Now I just want to edge the complete edge of this, because it's too neatly for me. That was the one, Anya, very good. The big ones. Uh, the small ones, I don't know actually whether that fits, but I can tell you in a minute. If you give me a second. Oh, that, just send that anyway. I would like that recipe, Yona. I love cheese onion bread. And then he can bake it. Or I bake it myself. That's better. Just took away that stark white. Um, that is cool. Okay. So, um, I think for now, I'm going to leave it at this, guys. Bear with me. Yeah, I do. I will. Else, I will. I will put in a picture at the front, uh, as I said, of one of him, him, uh, one of uh, Daniel baking. I will put that here, and then the rest he can put in his recipes. I will put a matte layer here where it's too dark, uh, or he can just fold paper and stick it down. Whatever, it's up to him. Uh, but it's a really fun booklet, guys. Look at this. This is so much fun. Um, yeah, I love it. So, let me clean up my mess because I've been... If you see my craft room now, it has exploded! <laughs> so, I really like that paste. Let me tell you that. The structure of it, look at that. Now it's really dry. It's really fun. It, it has a soft, almost soft... No, yeah, I don't know. It's fun. You should... yeah, yeah, I'm not closing it. I'm just putting this on and there are legs on there. So there's time for it to breathe. But I just don't want to throw my booklet into the watercolor. That was the idea. Um, so I've got some pages left that I can use some other day. Um, that can be the base for my next booklet. So where are we time-wise? Ah, 10 minutes early. Okay, um, but I'm still going to round up because I think, I think I'm done skis, so uh, I don't want to rush into doing something there. There were still some splatters on there. Uh, I love this page. I love playing with paint. I love, um, yeah, doing uh, this grungy stuff. So, yeah, and I love the, the fun stuff from your set as well. Um, so, yeah, I really love this oven. I love this booklet. I love this whole idea uh, from this spine from the art journal set. Thank you to Rihanna for figuring out how to make this smaller. That was uh, all credits go to her. Um, she did a live doing that. So, yeah, I like it. I love it. And I want more of it. Um, this is uh, definitely for sure. Thank you for watching this one. Don't forget to like, comment and share. And please keep in mind for the Dutchies and the people in Europe, 
uh, next week all the lives will be one hour earlier than this week and that's because in Europe we go to winter time uh, and in the US that's another week to go from now so don't uh, um, don't forget that so in the UK it will be six o'clock and in the Netherlands it will be seven o'clock when the lives will be Monday it will be I knew it ah uh, you're set uh, that's gonna be fun um, uh, Wednesday it's else and Friday is Marga so have fun with that I will see you I don't know when some other some other time and uh, thank you for watching this one I really enjoyed it I loved spending my evening with you guys and I see you soon thank you very much bye